rise and fall of Carvana. What's going on, guys? It's Marcus from Wall Street Assassins, and we're back with another banger looking at Carvana over here. The stock was trading at a high of $58 back in 2020. You can see that right here. This is the one year, one day chart. And because of that, the stock basically was trading at $58. Uh, financially, the company hasn't been doing too well, especially in the used car market, very competitive. And they do have kind of like a niche market where there's a lot of used car dealers around where you could possibly get a better price or more money back for your vehicle. So um, the, the overall stock started sinking from $58 down to $3. You can see it kind of uh, leveled out over here, 2022, December, 2022. We're at the lowest of 355 from $58. What a huge drop, um, especially after their earnings over here. And then you can see we could we started slowly climbing using that three, um, 355 as a strong support level. We even went as high as basically $23 over here, rejected the SMA and started to basically cruise right underneath the SMA. And only until it started to hold above the SMA, you guys can see that we started to hold above $12. The SMA right here is the blue line around $11, right? And that it was around June, right? June, 2023. And you can see that we started to hold above that one year trade line and started to push up higher. So we are experiencing a short squeeze. A lot of people are shorting Carvana, thinking that this is an unsafe business model, basically what they're doing. Um, and you guys can see the after effects that even today, if we go down toward the one minute chart, we basically went stock open today at $29 and we close at $34, right? So what can we overall expect for tomorrow? Overall tomorrow, we're jumping back over towards that one year. Overall tomorrow, you can see that 35 is 35, 34 area was a previous basically support over here back in 2020 September. So if we basically get above that 35 hump, we could possibly push up towards $43 and maybe even gap fill towards 58. Are you guys going to keep this in the rotation? Are you guys going to keep this in the watch list? Comment below. What do you guys think about Carvana? The crew today, we basically took advantage of this. Some of my team members have been holding this for maybe over a week now, up 200, over 100% profit. Um, the squeeze is basically happening right now. Make sure you guys practice safe caution with this stock. Make sure you guys use a stop loss. Spreads can be wide. Um, maybe get next week expirations if you're not willing to basically um, ha go through the pullbacks because today we definitely did have a pullback. I entered over here. We basically squeezed up towards like 34. And then we had that nice pullback around 31. Um, so if you're not willing to hold through some possible pullbacks or don't understand what overall is happening, I suggest looking at higher time frames, such as maybe like the 10, 10 day, 30 minute. You guys can see even with that pullback, we held above that trade line, giving us confidence to hold and actually hold until the new high of $34. So let's see what happens. The stock is a little bit more on the overbought side. A lot of times when these short squeezes happen, the overbought or the RSI indicator becomes invalid. And actually, when we hold above the red zone right here, as long as the RSI stays in the red, she can continue to uptrend until she comes right out of it, as you guys can see over here. What do you guys think? Are we going to squeeze and hit $40? Can we hit those $50 ranges? Are we going to surpass $50, right? $50, $50 is the one-year high, but can we surpass it and go higher? If you look back, the stock was originally traded at, at its highest peak in 2021 at 376 I don't think that we're going up to 376, but you never know with these short squeezes, we could possibly hit that 56 level before she comes back down. Don't fall in love with the stock. Just fall in love with the trade. Use a stop loss. Let me know what you guys think below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.